Hello fellow coders, hope you all being good. Due to some personal reasons, I was unable to release a video on last week. I'm so sorry for that. So today, I'm going to teach you how to create a simple state-driven app using GetX and Flutter. So further ado, let's get started. For this project, I'll be using the API call which I used in the previous video. First, we'll have to add with state mixing to our controller and we have to specify which data type that we are returning from the state mixing. So here we are returning a list of a model of album model. First, we'll change this code to be inside a try catch block. So in the Rx status, we have four different status, which is called success, loading, error, empty. So in success is what happens if the data is loaded and error is when some error occurs and we also have loading which is when data is being retrieved from the server and empty when the red data is empty or there's no data inside the server so let me finish coding and then i'll explain it to you As you can see, I have extended the home.dart to a get view and the controller name. So as you can see, we are using controller.obx to observe our data changes inside the controller. So in the success state, which is nothing is there, uh, we have added the center, column and text, which is previous code. And then on loading, we have added the circular progress bar, which you can see when I change the data and its data is not loaded, it shows in on loading and on the empty i've just set a centered text saying there's no data and on error i'll be showing the error on the screen again as a centered text so as you can see i'm, I'm changing the data states and the url to show you different states of the the process and inside the controller i've used change and i'm sending back the list which is data list for the list and the status Inside the status, we'll be sending rx status dot empty for if it's empty, rx status dot success, rx status dot loading, and rx status dot error. So inside the error, we can send our very own uh, error function. So right now, I've been lazy and I've given that e dot to string, which is the exception that is caught to be shown in the screen. But you can make it more efficient and reactive according to your needs. So I hope that you got something new from this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video and give us a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to bring more informational videos like this using Firebase and GetX and Flutter. So till then, take care.